So we are here at the Black Flash Media Day. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You know, it's been a long layoff. It's been about 12 months roughly uh, since my last fight. I picked up a bit of a niggle and now I've overcome the niggle and I'm back. Happy to be back as well. well it's a pleasure to meet you and obviously introduce you to the Black Flash channel because I don't think people on here might not have seen you before. No. Um, what you are an amazing arm fight. You mentioned then your last fight, obviously, niggle, but you still managed to to do it and get the win because you are 10 and 0. Yeah. Looking to the weather and all that. That's a plan, yeah. Do you know? So I'm the first diabetic, you know, professional boxer in the world. Create history once, and I believe I've got a great man in me now. Do you know? Behind me, who's going to support me in Pat Barrett and Black Flash, do you know, promotions. I've got a great trainer in Humphrey Harrison, and I believe I'm going to become a champion. Do you know? Guided and steered in the right way by uh, Pat. You know, I can't ask for a better man steering me in, in the right direction. He's done it as a boxer himself. He's done it as a uh, you know as a trainer himself. You know, uh, champions like Zelfa, uh, Lyndon. You know, his list goes on and on. And uh, I believe I'll become a champion under Pat Barrett. You know, guiding me. And I've got a fantastic, like I just said a moment ago, uh, coach in Humphrey Harrison, who's been there, done it as well. So you can't buy experience. I've got the experience behind me, and now it's all down to me, you know, for providing the goods on fight nights. How has kind of been going? Because you mentioned that you are obviously the first UK professional boxer, professional to earn half title in diabetes. Yeah. How's camping going? Uh, absolutely amazing. Do you know? I believe uh, diabetes it's a condition and not an illness and a controllable condition. So it's down to me, you know, looking after myself in a healthy manner, consuming the right foods, right supplements, doing the right training, not overtraining, I'm training in a smart way. And now the key is uh, activity for me. You know, I've had a great meeting with Pat and like I said, he's been there, done it as an athlete himself. Now, as, as a trainer as well, he's done it, he's, you know, took fighters to the elite level. And now as a manager, he's doing it as a promoter. and. Uh, I believe he's going to steer me in that direction and becoming a champion. Yeah, I definitely believe that. I know it's something you've said in interviews and I was looking into you as a fighter. You do think you are going to become a champion? hundred percent, you know. I, I won't be wasting anyone's time. You know, um, like I said, I've had a big gap in 12 months and it's about me getting busy now and creating history again, becoming the first diabetic champion. That's a goal and until I don't get there, I won't be stopping anytime soon. You are quite inspiring. You've got your, your website, which is connected to your Instagram page, you want to go over and check that yeah. out. But on there, I've seen that I think it's August you are setting up and you're launching um, the food plans and the help and stuff like that. Consultancy, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really amazing. I, I want to give the message out there look, if you seek the right help, the right advice, like I, I had to look around, you know, uh, my previous manager um, is. Um, He's ended up with a bit of an illness and uh, sadly he, he'd stopped managing so I had to search around and I thought who, who'd be the right person for me and Pat knows me from a youth, you know me, Zelfa, Lyndon, you know a few other fighters uh, Pat had. We were on the amateur circuit together so Pat knows me from a young kid and uh, I messaged Pat, we had a meeting, a great meeting, me, Humphrey, my father and uh, Pat and we've got a plan now, get busy you know get get the right rounds get the right you cannot buy experience so i've got to get the rounds in and uh, you're looking at the next you know man to make history again you know becoming becoming the first diabetic champion that's the plan and i want to do that and going back to the consultancy look i didn't give up I've had 12 months off, had a look around, who's the right doctor for me, who's the right nutritionist, who's going to be the right manager for me, who's going to be the right coach you know, in terms of my boxing. And I've put it all together, got out of bed, put the work in, and now we're here having an interview. And I want to give the message out there to people that in the word impossible is possible. You know, Seek the right help, get the right advice, and go and achieve your goals. Become anything in life. You don't have to become a boxer. You can become a teacher. You can become an accountant. Whatever you want in life, you can become it, just seek the right help, get the right advice and uh, get on with your journey. I think you are just all around and you're massively inspiring, especially just people that might look up to you and look into your journey. Like I only had a, a brief look into it, but everything I've seen was just amazing. I do think the website out there, people want to check it out. MohammedAliBoxing.com. It's linked to all my you know, social media. So in August, it'll be going out there. and. 
Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. I think it's, it's really good, especially because there are a lot of people watching channels that might be inspired. Yeah, um, like I said, I travelled the world. Like I've been out to France, you know, to do talks. Funny enough, um, it was my, I think, sixth fight. They called me out to South Korea, and I said, you know, it's impossible. A week out from my fight, I can't come to Korea. Yeah. But uh, I ended up in France, you know, working. I'm an ambassador for Diabetes UK. Um, I, I go to Jersey every year, you know, to give talks, inspirational talks, and. Uh, like I said, anyone suffering with an underlying health condition, don't give up in life, you know, get the right people behind you, sit down, have meetings and set a plan out and go after it. You know, you have lumps and bumps on your journey, during your journey, you have bad days, you have good days, you've just got to keep going, take the right steps. Definitely. I know a few people might be saying, hey, you know, I already have great things in mind. Yeah, yeah. How's that Um, it's... Do you know, people think, oh, they ask me my name, so I'll say Muhammad Ali, and they'll think, oh, you know, no wonder you're a boxer. And I'm like, I've got no family history of boxing. Yeah. What it was, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of five. Yeah. And um, very hyperactive. And the nurse sat down with my mother and father and said, look, this kid needs to be involved in sport. And... If he's involved in sport, his blood sugar levels will uh, be balanced, you know, with this diet because he's burning the energy and uh, burning the glucose. So my dad put me into football. So when we'd lose, we'd all, you know, blame each other yeah. amongst the team. Oh, it was your fault. Oh, it was your fault. You didn't score. It was blame the goalkeeper, blame defender. And I kept saying to my dad, like, I want to get involved, you know, in combat sports. So my dad put me into karate. And in karate, I we wouldn't compete and I wanted to compete um, you know have fights and we wouldn't compete so I kept moaning to me dad don't like karate I want to go into boxing and at this time Ricky Hatton were flying and my father take us to Old Trafford every weekend you know we were involved in sport uh, you know visiting events and I went and uh, watched like Ricky Hatton against Costa Zoo when they shut the arena at 2 a.m. you know to yeah. put it for the American time and I was inspired all of Manchester came to a standstill you know for that fight and uh, then Amir Khan had gone to the Olympics and that was a massive you know, Great Britain had got together for him and I remember going to school and we had lessons shut just to watch that fight. You know, they were viewing him at school and I was like, wow, do you know, if, if a local lad from Bolton can do it, why can't I do it? So Amir Khan and Ricky Atten were massive inspirations at the time and uh, my dad, he didn't want me involved in, in boxing. So my mum took me up to uh, to the local amateur boxing club, Hema Boxing Club. So I went there and uh, the coach said, I want to speak to your father, you're good enough to become a boxer. And then sadly, I couldn't get my medical you know, due to being type 1 diabetic. And I was about 13, 14 at the time. And then I went back to football, couldn't get my boxing license. And then at 17, I got my amateur license with Mick Jelly at Berry ABC and uh, started fighting. And then at uh, 22 in 2015, I applied for my professional boxing license. I won the Haringey Box Cup and the Celtic Box Cup over in Ireland and decided to turn pro. And uh, the boxing board declined my license. So it was a three year battle going back and forth, you know, to get my license. And uh, eventually got my license, made my debut in 2018. And then uh, 2021, I weren't allowed to box again for another two and a half years due to being type 1 diabetic, underlying health condition and COVID. They said you cannot box. So that's what happened now. I think I've had two or three fights since COVID. And uh, here we are. I'm looking to go 11-0 on uh, Saturday. And uh, hopefully under Black Flash promotions, I will become the first type 1 diabetic boxing champion. I can't wait to watch you do it. Thank you, Elena. Yeah. Just lastly, before we sign up, what can the fans expect on Saturday night? Uh, they can expect a great fight. You know, uh, nothing short of excitement. You know, if you watch all my fights back, you know they're exciting, and um, you know an amazing night. You know, also I want to say Black Flash, Black Flash Promotions has been. So
so professional, you know, in this build-up, you know, in terms of the um, opponent, in terms of, you know, the venues, like today's media day, the weigh-in, everything's been absolutely marvellous, you know, well done to the whole team, so professional. Thank you so much, can't wait to see you out on Saturday. Let's go, and I want to thank everyone, you know, supporting me at home, all my sponsors, um, don't give up on your dreams, chase them, get behind the right people, get them behind you and go after your dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you.